Hello everybody, Flamin' Shark back with another video and today we're going to be reacting to Season 2, Episode 3 of Hell of a Boss, X's and O's. And I'll talk about the title because I think this title is really interesting and really clever, but it could mean a few things. But I definitely think I'm, like, the X's and O's could mean multiple things, but like, I think I still get the pun. And like, I'm curious what that means. Um, so I do want to note that I am... I, so I, I I had to go away for a while, had trip stuff, just a bunch of bullshit, family-related stuff, doesn't matter. But also, I've kind of been, you know, like I said, I I was still kind of a sick, and I technically still am. I feel great. The one thing is, is that I keep getting tickles in my throat, and, and um, I'm clearing my throat all the time, very violently and loud. I'm going to try not to do it in the video, um, but if I do, you know what's up. I'm fine. It's just... It sounds infinitely worse than it is. I'm actually really fine. I'm going to try not to do it in the video, but this is the first video I'm recording since getting back. I'm about to record, you know, like the March comes in like a lion premiere and which will, I guess, go up the day before this and some other stuff. Like I said, various videos. I'm really excited to be back though, but we got the Hell of a Boss shirt on. Uh, first time wearing it in a little while because we got a new Hell of a Boss episode. I'm really excited for it. And like I said, my hearing is kind of weird. Like it's it's fine with the headphones, but I just have a little bit of sus because you know driving high elevation, still kind of sick, and so it hasn't it it didn't it didn't you know never fully popped. So my ears are still sus, but I am fine. I don't have a infection or anything. I'm I'm doing cool. I'm doing good. It's just a little 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 off. I'd say 95% is the best way to put it. But I'm super fucking excited to get back into recording and hell of a boss will be a fun way to start, even though this will be the second video you see uh, coming back. It's going to be a little later also than normal, because normally I'm on these episodes within a day or two, um, but I was gone, and I didn't want to, I thought about recording it while I was there, um, and then, you know, I, I, there was a window where I could have recorded it before I got sick, um, but everything's fine now, uh, we're going to get to it, so... Very excited for this. I did. I've, I've enjoyed season two quite a bit. I thought the first episode was really strong. I thought the second episode was interesting. I liked the focus on Luna and Octavia, especially Octavia. I really like her. Um, I'm curious what this episode is going to be about, but with the name X's and O's, I mean, so it's spelled E-X-E-S-O-O-H-S. -E -S, so kind of like X's and O's. Um... You could even say oohs, potentially, but um, X's and O's, so we're going to get something involving X's, potentially, like ex-boyfriend, ex-girlfriend, you know, X, X's of some kind, uh, potentially. That could be where the X's are, uh, and O's, like, oh shit, O's, like, oh, like, like, there's a lot of ways that could go, but also X's and O's um, can be referred to kind of like, uh, like your X's and O's in, like, football or... Uh, really either football actually, but you know, kind of your, uh, like sp it's often used in sports strategy. It's also used in basketball, like X's and O's. So I assume there's some sort of plan, some sort of strategy that's trying to be put together probably by this boy right here. And, um, I'm going to be curious to see how that plays out. So I'm definitely really excited for that. And I'm really looking forward to what this episode has in store. It's also, 25 minutes, which I didn't check, but I think this makes it the second longest episode of Hell of a Boss. I want to say that the uh, Truth Serum episode, um, which I can't, it's like Truth Seekers. I think Truth Seekers was the episode. I want to say Truth Seekers was longer, but this is either the longest or second longest episode of Hell of a Boss. Definitely the longest uh, of the season. So this is a really long episode. So you know, it's taken a little while to come out, and it's a long one, so I'm expecting some spicy sauce, because uh, maybe some maybe some killer animation, potentially, if we get a big fight scene, or maybe this will just be mainly story-driven stuff. I don't know. Based on the title, I kind of lean more towards story-driven, uh, just interesting things, but I don't know. It's hard to know what hell of a boss. And really, with this show... Almost every episode feels like a big episode, but I have a good feeling this is going to be a big episode. So let's jump in to Season 2, Episode 3 of Hell of a Boss in 3, 2, 1, and play. Yep, all the normal. 
Okay, nothing, nothing special, nothing extra horny or anything there. Back at IMP, and Moxie's. You know, sussing. I checked the scale today, and it said I lost two pounds <coughs> this week. Damn, nice. Wow, Luna. I am not fat. You haven't called fat before. What the fuck, Millie? Um, the fuck got in your snatch, Millie? Jesus. Millie, honey, everything okay? Yeah, just bumped into an ex. Oh. Oh. He just kept going on about how he has money now, and a bright future, and a bigger cock. Wait, what? Whoa! How big is his cock? What are we talking about here? Like nine inches, ten inches? What the fuck is all this noise? I got a client. I'm very Sorry, interested. Sir. I'll get this all clean. What is this? Uh, you don't want to know. You don't want to know. Just put it back correctly, okay? I'll put the time. Wow. Okay, so let me get this straight. You don't no want whores. us going to Earth at all for this job. Correct. That will not be necessary. I'd like the to meet fuck? you and your whole crew at my estate. Uh, you want us killing someone in hell? Because I gotta tell you, that ain't exactly our business no more. I'll tell you all about it when you're here. Interesting. In regards you... to a business venture, I'm sure will be very worth your time. Interesting. Ooh, how ominous. <laughs> Fine, whatever. What's the address? Transportation has already been taken care of. Interesting. Damn, fucking helicopter. What the fuck is that? Yeah, we're here to pick you up, guys. Satan's ass crack. Enough with the walls, Jen. We have a door. Seriously, these walls have been destroyed several times already. My research! Oh no. Oh no. Yikes. Yeah, even in hell, that's pretty disturbing. Right this way, please. I love these voices. They're so stupid. Uh, sir, what's going on? Now don't worry, it's just some fancy schmuck from Greed wanting to do business with us. Interesting. And uh, why sir, would a fancy schmuck I don't from... think this is Oh no! Is it the axe? Fine. This is now the fucking axe, axe isn't it? It's the fucking axe, I bet. Is this thing safe? Don't worry, we are professionals! Yeah, just like you guys are the immediate murder professionals. Oh. Greed indeed, holy shit. Also, was that the actual, uh, Lulu world? I believe it's called. That's run by, um, Charlie's Daddy. Ugh, I hate this place. Moda Mafia oh, yeah. Town, yeah, this huh? is your old stomping ground, isn't it, Mom? Oh. Yeah, unfortunately. I grew up just over there, swore I'd never come back, and, uh... Uh, what, what, where, where are we going? Oh, God. Let's... Wait. Who did you say this meeting was with? I'm not sure. Just some rich somebody or other who wants to discuss biz at his place. Oh, no. Wait. Oh, no. No, 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 Daddy? No, 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 Mommy? No, no. Well, it would be Daddy. This your house? There he is. There's my boy. Oh, Get my God. i give your daddy a hug. Daddy? Oh, God. I only let Moxie call me. Unless you pay me. Nice. <laughs> Guys, um, <clears throat> this is my father, Crimson. Crimson, Sir, this huh? Is my boss, Blitz. Oh my god! A mob family! Is and he a mobster? A wife, He's a fucking mobster, Mox, isn't he? Well, you've been mob right family! This was episode family. one. Oh, I'm sure he would have introduced us eventually. Oh, I'm sure. You gotta be Blitz. Dude, look at the way he's dressed. This is a mob oh, family. Right? I've heard a lot of good things about you and your Because work. Moxie's really? got issues with a mob is family. family. I'll fucking kill you, Moxie. Don't you fucking test me. Bet no, 10 bucks, no. mob family. From all over. Looks like you're building a bit of a name for yourself, Ooh. you kid. Really? Good shit. Yeah. Well, I guess it's about time folks recognize my talent. <laughs> what the fuck? I don't I like, like this at all. Well, I hope you're all hungry. We put together a fabulous dinner. Oh, this is going to be awkward. Hey, baby. Why haven't I met your pa before? Well, uh, you know, it, it's 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 just never been a... Hey, you two. Move it before it gets cold. What the fuck? Look, look, Millie, we can talk about it later. Okay. 
So, so X's and O's. So is the O daddy? The fuck is about to go down? So, Blitz, you always been a hitman? Oh, no, not always. Yeah, I was in the circus for a long time. Show business. Good money in that. This is awkward. What the fuck? What I, are we doing smoker. here? Sir. Moxie. I raised you better than that. You know there's no business before dinner. Besides, we're still waiting on one more. Oh, the fucking axe. Oh, no. What the fuck? Wait. What? You know him? You remember that ex I was talking about? Looks like I have two big sex reunions. Wait! They're both of their exes? No way. Can you him too? Oh, my God! No big deal, but I've usually boned half the people in any room I'm in. Are you fucking kidding me? There's someone who's fucked both of you? That was a long time ago. But I still remember it like it was yesterday. God fucking damn it. You, a fledgling mafioso, me. Fledgling mafioso. An extremely sexy muscle. It was like, it was written in the stars. Ha! Moxie in the mafia, that's fucking This rich. is the fucking mafia, you dumbass. Yeah, I was saying that the whole time! What the fuck? Yeah, this is... Dude, why is Moxie literally like oh, Charlie 2? What the fuck? You've never told me this before. I, I don't really like to talk about this part of my life, but... I first saw Chad. Yeah, yeah, he's family. doing the fucking thing. Our eyes met from across the room. And there was just something about him. Ew. Something that was magnetic. Oh my god. What the fuck? This would explain Moxie's, um... Use of weapons and understanding what the fuck. The fuck? Damn, the fucking double. I was not prepared for the double X, same X gimmick. That's fucking base. Moxie, will you bone me? Spelled very wrong. What the fuck? What the fu What the fuck? Stop. Ew. It's oh my god. Years. Isn't that from that boat movie? Did any of that stuff actually happen. Oh, yeah. <laughs> but he skipped over the jizz-covered part. Ew! Anyway, things changed oh, when we got hot, but... together. Damn, bro fucking... Damn, he felt bad about it at least, but bro fucking betrayed his ass. Damn, you fucking went to jail? What the oh, fuck is this what backstory? Are you in for? What? Okay, not what? Much talker, are we? Ugh, I'm Blitz. The O is silent. Nah, I'm sure we're oh. along just fine. So what you deal? What you oh, do? Oh, this is you cool. Deal? You look like someone who's good with a gun. You look like someone who'd shoot up an office, and I hope you are. Cause I got a plan to get us out of this dump. But I'm gonna need some help. You think you can give me a hand? I need to get out to my daughter. The babysitter will kill me if I don't get back soon. You like him? Aww. Aww, it was like a, a bro Once bond. Once I got out, I never looked back. Well, like you said, it was a long time ago. <laughs> yeah, and then that's like... Oh, and then there's that. Crazy bitch. Hey, 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 Jesus Christ. Hold on, you should have died, bitch. Dinner Jesus Christ. Is so... All right, let's have dinner. Dude, awkward fucking dinner. What the fuck are they no, eating? This is aggressively uncomfortable. I suppose you want to know why you're here. Yeah, so what gives? Yeah, you know, why would we you kill people on Earth, people? right? We don't normally do contracts for locals, so if you want to do business with us, you gotta. I don't want to do business with IMP. I want to do business with Moxie. Me? Yeah, kid. I summoned IMP to be sure you'd show. Because, of course. Well, we're bringing Chaz into the family. What? Since when can just anyone join the family? Come on, Mox. You had responsibilities here that I had to pick up once you left. Now Chaz is going to lighten the load. Wait. Ew. I thought you always hated his guts. Well, I don't know if I exactly hated him. You called him a friendless horse fucker and said we lived a sissy lifestyle. Yeah, wow. well, I was wrong. You've been gone a long time, Moxie. Interesting. So he's a trying to change. bait Moxie back so into the Chaz. family yeah. by using I've someone grown. that he knows Moxie sure. hates, if I had to and guess. And recently came into millions. 
but and know, there's that mostly the money the mature thing. oh okay okay so the horseless friend fucker over here gets a little moolah and suddenly it's worth wasting our time over well i'm the whole package i hate this guy what the fuck this guy I might be the worst dick. What does this any guy of this might have to be the worst Moxie. character There's in the show. I mean, in a good way, but what the fuck? Moxie here is going to officially release his holdings in the organization. The then fuck is this Schnee family bullshit? Your family to your heart's content. Maybe he wouldn't ignore his family if they didn't force him to rub elbows with a no good shark tooth fuck face. Yeah, he is a shark tooth fuck face. Relax. I know tensions have been high tonight. Say. Why don't you stay here and get some rest? We'll have the ceremony tomorrow, and then you will be free to leave. I have your rooms all prepared. Yes, sir. Max? Damn. A moment, Moxie. Oh, shit. Just give me a minute, Millie. Interesting. Moxie's there. acting... Dude, this motherfucker. <laughs> Ooh, I so, like... you think you're too good for this family now? What? Come here. I don't understand. Oh, you think you're gonna fuck. just get to walk away from this family and never come back? That's is not that wrong, wants. Mox? Yeah. Matter of fact, <laughs> the only thing you're right about is that that obnoxious piss stain can't get made. Not unless he marries in. M marries? But, but who would he? Who do you think? This family needs that money. And it's about time your pathetic ass was useful for wow. something. Sir, I'm already married. I, I can't you think I give a shit about your stupid beard? Come on, Mox. Whoa. I even went through the trouble of making the house more to your kind's liking. What the fuck? <laughs> Jesus Christ, how many fucking Jesus Christ! What the fuck? Wait, what what the J <laughs> Holy shit. Like, I don't even care. Yeah, like, for one... Uh, oh my god. Where do I even start with that one? Jesus Christ. Uh, holy shit, Viv. <laughs> Good lord. <laughs> you too, Brandon. Jesus. Um, based, but also, what the fuck, Dad? That's just disgusting. Um, I obviously just, you know... Dude, even the lights or dildos what the fuck like you know you know i don't you know you know let, 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 let's have you know it, it's weird enough if your dad was giving you a fucking dildo in any context but outside of being like weirdly offensive that's just dumb <laughs> like what the fuck the, the best part though is the fucking banner congrats gay <laughs> the fuck that's the most fucking hell of a boss thing I've ever seen. Um, so this is fucked up. This is really fucked up. Um, I mean, I'm ignoring the fucking dildos everywhere, which is hilarious. It is funny that they censored, that we actually have something censored in this show. I guess we have the censored bit where they censor Stolas for a bit. This is actually like... I guess that's not true. Well, that technically was Has Been Hotel. I guess we had censored dicks in Has Been Hotel. So. But. Regardless. Um, that's hilarious. But also. Um, this is actually a really interesting dilemma. Because it's the one person that he just. He doesn't really want to stand up to. He's got issues with. I mean, fuck. Like, once they were alone. One of the first things this guy did. Was fucking bitch slap the fuck out of. Um, Boxy. I mean, which kind of tells you exactly the type of relationship that Crimson and Moxie have. And Crimson is clearly not very uh, pro-LGBT. Uh, I, I, let's just leave it at that, I guess. Um, but, you know, money's more important. So, that is more to your life. What the fuck? I, I can't get over it. I keep looking at my screen and I just see, like what like 20 more than 20 censored dildos just all over the place and like really weird fucking contacts i still can't get over the fucking lights the fucking candlelight dildos is just fucking that's that's almost it's so stupid it's kind of brilliant
Like, I kind of want that now. Like, I want that just, like, legit in my house or something. That would be so based. It's so stupid. Um, but, yeah, this is really fucked up. And it's interesting that he's basically threatening... Yeah, he's trying to force his son to fuck this guy that he used to fuck, that he doesn't like. I, I'm just, I'm just picturing that Millie will literally fucking, Millie, Millie might literally murder this guy. Like, depending on how this episode goes, Millie might actually kill this guy. Jesus Christ. Um, there's a lot, there's a lot to take. Is that a fucking, I just realized that there's even pixels in the fire. It's like a rotisserie dildo, I think. What the f Jesus Christ. Um... Well, anyways, um, I think I've had enough fun talking about dildos, but this is a really fucked up... I, I'm sorry, I keep getting fucking distracted. It's so ridiculous. Um, but yeah, this is a really fucked up situation, and it kind of got thrown... I, I kind of got a little thrown off there by 20,000 dildos in my face, which, um, you know, not the worst experience I've ever had, but certainly not one I was prepared for today. Anyways, let's jump in. Let's continue. I went back a little so we can watch this again. House Morty, your kind's like Your kind. I hate that so much. What the fuck? Wow, it's a middle finger. I love that. No! Congrats, gay. Wait, what? What do you think I'm into? What? This is the kind of shit gays like, right? Okay, first off, Dad, I'm bisexual. Yeah. Okay. Oh, for fuck's sake. Secondly, I don't know a yeah. single person of any sexuality who <laughs> enjoy this. Exactly. Ah, there's dicks in the walls. Oh, that's fucking hilarious. Wow, Blitz. Look at me, kid. One way or another, you're gonna do what I fucking say. What the fuck? Don't cross me. Um. Mom? Uh Oh Jesus Christ. Did did dad fucking kill mom? What the fuck? Oh god. Yeah, there's the abuse. Did he kill mom or did he just keep mom away? The fuck? This is a really interesting episode. Um. Is that fucking mom? Oh my god. What the fuck? Let this be a lesson, Moxie. This is what happens when you cross me. Jesus fucking Christ. Yeah. Yeah. Good now God. get to bed, Moxie. You have a big day tomorrow. <sighs> yes, sir. Oh, and Mox. Wow, is he really gonna do this because of Millie? Me again, Millie. You and that pretty little thing you brought here are going home in boxes. Capiche? Yes, sir. Jesus Christ. You got two cho- What the fuck? <laughs> oh my god, the dildos never end. Why? How come we aren't- Crimson wants you all to stay in separate rooms. Why? Moxie? It's just one night, Millie. It's okay. Max, are you okay? I'm fine. Please don't worry, sweetie. He's no, not okay. He's not okay. Right? Yes. He's not okay. Everything's fine. Your partner's Max. Oh. It's just my dad. It's okay, really. It'll be over tomorrow. Oh, God. Okay. I love you. I love you, too. Oh, God. I'm so Good scared. Night. He's gonna... What's gonna happen here? Is he really gonna... What the... Fucking why? <laughs> Seriously, fucking why is the perfect answer. 
Nice cock. Nice cock! That's a fucking Wii Sports meme. Like what I've done with the place. Come zone. Uh, huh? Just get out of here. Come on, Mox. We used to have so much fun here, remember? I'm married, Chaz. And even if I weren't, I would never... Never what? Let me take you to come town again. Wow. You are That's so That's a fucking gross. Verosica Just reference, leave me alone. isn't it? I know what you want most, Moxie Popsie. How about a sexually charged musical number? Hey. Hey, that does sound what pretty was awesome. Not those. <laughs> Fuck him. Nice. It's Chaz time. <laughs> I don't know. Every time he says Chaz, I think of Chaz Prince this from you Crack you open up a walnut. And the answer is Ew. Crack him open like a walnut, huh? Even walnut on the screen. I'm feeling that you wanna feel my feelings and feel the feel you feel sex so far. So let me get a little something off my chest while I blow a hot emotional load off of yours. Ew. Yeah. Big dick. Have sex with me. <clears throat> Bro, is he about to kill his ass? Oh, that works too. Oh. Oh my god, this motherfucker. What do you want? He just <clears throat> Damn it. This usually works. I actually thought for a second she was actually gonna slice him that. Wait, Blitz? Hey there, good looking. Oh, I was wondering how long it would take for you to make a pass. Hmm. Does that mean you're down to clown? Ew, what, you think I would violate my friend's trust by sleeping with their ex, especially one who fucked them over the way you did? I swear I'll he's gonna say yes. I'll show you all the things they liked in the sack. Deal. Wow, that's all it took. I knew it. God fucking damn it. Yeah. <laughs> I don't cry, I... Oh, I wanted to see what that said. I think it's in Sing, maybe? Oh, wow. Damn, he looked good in white, she looked good in black. That's, that was nice. He's gonna kill his father. Okay, fucker, nobody who's that bad in bed can score two hotties that easily. I know you gotta be hiding something. That's so funny, two hotties. Admitting that Moxie is a hottie is very based. Bro, you're just gonna steal his car? <clears throat> yeah, this guy's fucking poor as shit. He's not rich. Oh, fuck that. No one fucks with Eminem's marriage but me. Oh, oh. Sorry, fuck. babe. You aren't the only junk in my trunk. <laughs> oh my god, I hate this guy so much. Not a good one. At least he's a villain. So it kind of works. The man of the hour. You ready to get started? Wait, where's Blitz? I think I saw him head outside. He said something about needing some fresh air or something. Why don't you grab That's it bullshit. so we can get moving? Be right back, baby. What you looking so glum for, kid? It's your wedding day. Best day of your life. Again. Dude. I'm not doing it. What was that? I couldn't make it out over the sound of you being a whiny bitch. I said, I'm not doing it, sir. I've spent my whole life being afraid oh, of you, but I'm not giving up the only go, good thing Foxy. I've ever had just so you can keep your fragile little sense of control over everything. Millie is a good woman. A better woman than I deserve. And there's nothing that scares me more than hurting her. Not even you. I'm leaving, Dad. And if you or Herpes the Clown over here, hey. try to stop me. You'll learn firsthand just how good I've gotten at my job. Wow. Wow. Now take care of the others. Jesus Christ. Dude, Millie is about to go on murder. Oh, 
Millie. You found me. Who's your friend? Friend? Oh, Millie, Millie. Oh, Millie! Oh, I, I, she got the friend. Jesus. Jesus Christ. Oh, I like that visual. I love the shadow yeah, visuals yeah, they do yeah. in this yeah, yeah, yeah. series. Don't worry about or it. Let's Vibzy get this thing does. Rolling, eh? Aww. You told me all the chairs would be filled. This is about to be a murder fest. What the f Oh! Ooh, nice! Satisfied? Now, oh, fuck yes. What that was very hell? satisfying. That seductive dickhole is trying to marry Moxie, and he's not even rich. Moxie! Wow, poor, poor. God fucking damn it. Do you, Cheswick Thurman, take Moxie in the last name to be your lawful Bro, bro, that guy's enjoying and himself. do you, Moxie, whatever, take Cheswick Thurman to be your lawfully wedded... Uh... Look at that. He's just so fucking happy to be here. Everything's locked down. Wow. How are we gonna get in? Oh, just ram the car. Yeah, good idea. Yeah, fuck Lululand. Yeah, Lula yeah. Lula fuck you up, Pits. <laughs> <laughs> nice! Nice! You want my husband? You're gonna have to fucking kill me. She's like, he's like, sure, why not? Bro. Millie's about to go ham! Here we go! Jesus Christ! The, the fucking spine! Popping right out. This is really interesting camera work. Yeah, that's pretty. What the fuck? She's a dame! She's a broad! She's a broad? What the fuck? Right on the door now. Who the fucking killed him? Oh, right in the ass! Damn, fucking lightsaber dildo action here. Jesus. Giddy up, little bitch boy, you did. Giddy up, little bitch boy, you did. Spark, spark, spark helpers. Bro, what the fuck? Holy oh, shit! Jesus Christ! Holy oh, fuck. Damn. Hey! What about my This ass is mine! By the way, nice, hot note, Chaz dude. isn't even rich, okay? Check his car. He just played you like a fucking rube. <laughs> Later, wow. Losers. Wow. Bro. Ah! Yeah, Chaz is dead. Chaz is about to get fucked in the ass by all of those dildos. Dude, fucking Luna just gives no fucks. Millie, thank you for saving me. You're amazing. Next time, just tell me if your daddy's a psychopath. I can handle it. Well, I know. I'm glad she can handle anything. Okay. Dude, you're getting you know, pegged so hard tonight. Also, I got to plow your ex-boyfriend. Isn't that great? Now we Both all them. fuck the same guy. What the fuck? Of course you'd be into that. Right before he died. Yep, yep, makes sense. Oh, interesting, interesting. We got another person. Another person to worry about moving forward to go along with the the, the U.S. government dorks. Um, Stolas's wife. And now we got Moxie's father. Yes, sir. Mm. Kind of vibing with this. Isn't it? Yeah, it, it does kind of come off kind of like porn music, so I guess Chaz succeeded in that sense. You know? That was an interesting one-off character, Chaz Thurman. Chaz Thug. Crash into motherfucking wedding. Great songs. Nice. 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 I'm finished.
You are finished. Hey, Spindle Horse. <clears throat> oh, man, I got through that whole thing without clearing my throat, and I did a small one right at the end. Good on me. Okay. Well, that was Season 2, Episode 3 of Hell of a Boss. That was really fun. I really liked that episode. Um... I think it's cool that we introduced the character and killed them off. Um, it does kind of create a little bit of, like, variance, where it's it's not like, you know, every... You know, some episodes you have characters that are probably going to be one-offs, but a lot of episodes we have characters that are kind of set up for future episodes, which is normal storytelling. But it's kind of cool to meet a character and have him get fucked in the same episode, literally and figuratively. Um, but also, like, this episode obviously still did establish a, a recurring character in Moxie's father in Crimson. So, you know, it works out on multiple fronts. We still got that. So you got, you know, Stryker. Like I said, we have Stryker and, um, Stolas's wife. We got, um, we got the dorks up on Earth. And we got, uh... Crimson, all is kind of like recurring people that can fuck us down the line, which is really fun. Um, like they said, it's nice to see, it, literally exactly what Blitz said, it's nice to see that Moxie has daddy issues as well. I mean, his character makes a lot of sense. You could see like the influences of his mom, the influences of his dad. I mean, again, they, they, they there was actually like kind of jokingly foreshadowed this all the way back in the first episode. I could see if it's a mob family. <laughs> um, oh, the second I put it together, just that line, mob family, it just it just immediately popped in my head. I was like, holy shit, that's sick. But um, yeah, really cool episode. Really, really cool episode of Hell of a Boss. I think this was... I don't know where this ranks overall, because like, I think every episode is good. Like My least favorite episode of the series is probably Cherub. And that's a fun episode. I really, I like, I like that episode a lot. I think it's just the least interesting one. Um, but this was like a fun, a really fun episode. Uh, very strong. I like, like I said, I think Millie and Moxie's uh, relationship is one of the best parts of Hell of a Boss. I love their relationship. I love how wholesome their relationship can be in a world that's as fucked up and not so wholesome as hell of a boss. And even though they're surrounded by people, you know, obviously like Luna and Blitz have a complicated relationship as, you know, daughter, father deal. And Blitz has his own complicated, you know, romantic relationship with Stolas and just all the issues that Blitz has and all the fucked up things we see in hell of a boss. It's so cool to see how beautiful and pure and wholesome the relationship is between Millie and Moxie. And it's one of the most, I think it really balances the series quite well. Like, I think it's something I really love seeing is their dynamic and how cute and wholesome it is. So I, I really love um, watching them do their thing. And it's always cool to see Millie, um, you know, basically, in, in, uh, you know, in, in, in her own words in this episode, uh, claim very, uh, very loudly that this ass is mine because that ass is hers. And, uh, I, for one, am definitely not going to uh, argue one bit with her. She's uh, she's not someone I want to uh, get on the bad side of. Um, but Millie's such a badass and really cool to meet Moxie's father and <clears throat> and learn more about Moxie's backstory. And even, even the part about how he ended up in that backstory, I love how it flowed together into, the, into more of the show. Like, I love how it flowed into he ended up in prison and he was... Uh, ended up in the same prison cell as Blitz, and that, you know, Blitz had a plan to bust out of prison, and that and that directly correlated with uh, Moxie helping him, and eventually them being part of IMP. That doesn't say anything about how Moxie and Millie met, but it does give us some origins on Moxie and Blitz, which I think is really fucking cool. I love how that backstory, like, flowed into another one. I thought that was really sick, and, and really cool writing that I really liked. Um, Really fun stuff. That was a great episode. And uh, I'm as always, I'm excited for more. Like, on multiple fronts, because we are creeping our way to Has-Been Hotel this summer. And then we, of course, are always looking forward to new episodes of Season 2 of Hell of a Boss. So, on multiple different fronts, we're winning here. Whether it's the, the Has-Been Hotel stuff that's eventually coming, or Hell of a Boss episodes, whenever they drop, are always very fun and exciting. So... 
I'm looking forward to more, as always. I think this was... I think this was a really strong episode. I Like, if I had to say which episode's the weakest episode of the season so far, it was probably episode two. Um, I've liked all three episodes, though. I think they've been really good. I, I think... Um, like I said, they've they've all been very fun, and I'm really enjoying season two of Hell of a Boss, as expected. I, I think this show is fantastic. I think the work that Vivian and Brandon and all the rest of the crew put into it is fucking fantastic, and it's 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 amazing. I mean, they're they're really setting a standard for uh, independent animation. Really, I mean, to be completely honest, like it's fantastic. So, uh, yeah. I, uh, great shit, great shit, I'm excited for more Hell of a Boss whenever we get it, hopefully in the next couple months we'll have another episode to crack into, and, uh, yeah, that's pretty much it, I'm, I'm, I really like that one, uh, so yeah, if you guys want to support the channel, my Patreon's down below in the description, Discord server's down below if you want to hang out there or get in touch with me, and, uh, the other links are there as well, so anyways, Flame and Shark signing out, hope you guys have a wonderful, fantastical day, um, and I'll see you next time with another video. Thanks for watching. Peace.